Now that we've set up the scene, created a new third person character, and created a new item type, let's go ahead and add an item to the character. This video is going to be an overview on how you add any type of item to the character. I'm going to be adding an assault rifle, but the same steps will apply whether you're adding a pistol, a shield, a sword, a magic item. The same steps apply, and there will be a different video that shows kind of the specifics on how you configure that particular type of item. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up the item manager, and you can get to that under the tools menu. And we'll just start going through and configuring the item. So the name of the item is My Assault Rifle. And this can be any name that you choose. The item definition is the item type that we created in the previous video. And that is My Assault Rifle item type. The reason why this field name is item definition instead of item type is because the same base class is shared between the character controller and inventory system assets, and this just allows for a seamless integration. For the purpose of these character controller videos, you in your head just replace item definition with item type because they're the exact same thing. So, so we want to specify an item type of my assault rifle, and then we want to assign the assault rifle to the Nolan character. We want to uh, add the assault rifle to the character's default loadout, and this will just allow the character to equip the item immediately when the game starts. And this animator item ID is a pretty important concept, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time on that. And this animator ID is a way for the animator to uniquely identify that a particular item is equipped. We can get the ID in a couple of different ways. One way is to look at the character's animator. So I have the animator open, and this is just from the Nolan character. And let me go to the upper body layer in this case. And we can see that there are a whole bunch of different states. I'm going to go into the assault rifle state, and I'll click on any of these transitions, but I'll, I'll click on this one. And if we go at the look at the transition conditions, we can see that there's this one condition called slot zero item ID equals one. This one value is what we want to use in the item manager. So I'm going to bring that one value over there. What that means is that whenever the assault rifle sees that the slot zero item ID has a value of one, it knows to play the assault rifle related animations. The reason why this is slot zero item ID is because slot 0 represents the character's right hand and slot 1 represents the character's left hand. This is set up when you create the character and I'll go into a little bit more detail on how this gets that value um, when we get a little bit further in this uh, item manager. So when the, when the slot 0 item ID, when the right hand item equals 1, that's when the animator should play the assault rifle related animations. In this case, the assault rifle for the demo scene has a value of one, but if you're creating your own animator controller, which I highly recommend, you can use any animator ID that you want for that uh, particular item, that new item that you're adding. If you're using the demo scenes animator controller, then you'll need to use the demo, the item IDs that were created or assigned uh, within the demo scenes animator. And you can either get these IDs by doing what I just did by looking at a transition or on within the documentation we have the default values for all the different items that are included in the asset and that's where we also list out the item ID. So on that documentation page you'll see that it has an item ID of one for the assault rifle. So now that we've done that, we are in this first person section. Um, if you don't have a first person controller, then this first person section won't be here. But right now I have the ultimate character controller imported. So that's why you see this here. We do not want to add any first person objects. So I'm just going to deselect this. And now we can just ignore all those fields. And now for third person, we do want to add a third person item object. And the item object we want to add is the assault rifle. So I'm going to do a search for assault rifle. 
and here's the model file so let me just drag that in you can see that it's right here and I'll just drag it over this field the hand that we want to assign the assault rifle to is the right hand and this is kind of just a convenient method because the character is humanoid it automatically can pick up the left and the right hand but I was talking about that slot ID a little bit so let me go to the character's right hand and see what we see so, so I'm on the character's right hand that looks normal but if I expand that we'll see we, there's that there's this items game object and this items game object is where all the visible items will be parented to. So this items game object has an item slot component and this item slot has an ID of zero because we're under the character's right hand. So that's where that animator condition, the slot zero item ID, that's where that slot zero came from. It was from that component, the, the item slot component. So slot zero item ID, there's the zero and when the animator is e or when the assault rifle is equipped it will have a value of one and so that's that's how this slot zero item id equals one that's how it kind of gets assigned so the next step is this animator controller and this is the animator controller for the visible item so in this case it's for the assault rifle and let's go ahead and assign the assault rifle animator controller you'll likely have animator controllers for your shootable weapons but you probably won't for your melee weapons since there's no movement at all when you do the attack or there's generally not any movement of course you could have some if you wanted uh, the action type should be shootable weapon because we want to set up a shootable weapon and the consumable item definition or the consumable item type should be the my assault rifle bullet which is what we had created earlier and we are going to leave the state configuration and profile fields uh, their default values this will allow me to kind of configure everything from scratch versus using a pre-configured set of values so let me hit build item now and we can see the assault rifle moved from being an independent game object to being placed in the character's right hand so I can close this now and let me go ahead and hit play just to kind of see what happens and we should see the assault rifle being equipped so the assault rifle is equipped so that, that's looking good um, the assault rifle is equipped but it's not in the right position at all and let's go ahead and fix that by clicking on the character and we'll scroll down to the character IK component let's hit debug draw look ray let's have that enabled what that will do actually let me have it disabled just so you can see first um, we'll see that when I hit play now there's there's no rave coming from the character's head right now but now when I enable it I actually don't need to stop unity in order to actually enable it so let me just hit play now when I enable it and I hit play now you can see that look ray is drawn in order to line up the assault rifle with that look ray since we want the assault rifle to be facing in that direction I'm going to change the aim ability so that it automatically starts so let me scroll down to my ultimate character locomotion component and I'm going to click on the aim ability and instead of having it starting down with button down continuous we are going to have it start automatically and so now we can see the character is aiming so this is just going to make uh, setting up the assault rifle values a lot easier so now I can click on the assault rifle under the items game object and I can actually move its values so and it helps as well just to pause unity just to make sure there's no animations that are playing and kind of preventing you from aligning it correctly um, I'm not going to be able to get it perfect for this video since it takes a little bit of time and, and playing with in order to get it to get it perfect but I should be able to get it pretty good so I mean that that looks decent um, it's probably a little bit high so that looks that looks better so let's let's say that this looks good what I can do now is hit copy under this transform and then I will stop unity and I'll paste my values and now when I hit play we should 
see that the assault rifle is positioned. It already looks like it's positioned a lot better. And let's just go ahead and start the aimability automatically again. And then we'll be able to just see that the, the assault rifle, yeah. Yeah, that looks like it, it's aiming. Uh, not perfect by any means, but it's decent. Good enough for this video. So, um, so that's kind of how you position a visible item. Um, well, yeah, so that's, that's it for this video, but we'll get into the details on how to make this weapon fire and all that type of stuff in, in the next.